Hi, in this tutorial we're just going to go over pH scale for acids and bases. So what is pH? Well the pH scale is a logarithmic scale and it's, it's really there because we've got a lot of numbers to cover if we look at, um, for example, if I drag this up now, we've got a, a large range of numbers to cover uh, to describe the concentration of um, hydrogen ions in solution and so we've come up with this scale called pH scale which basically is is directly related to the um, the power that is used within the uh, concentration of the protons. Now we take HCl for example I'll just grab myself a colour take HCl as a gas, say, eh? and we bubble that through water, and that will give us a concentration of of H plus, and also its counter ion, which will be chloride ion. Okay, and this AQ just means aqueous because it's in water. So we take itself a. This is supposed to be a beaker. We've got a beaker there, and we've got a beaker full of water. Let's just fill that up a little bit with some water. Okay, it's not the best uh, drawing in the world. But basically, this is a beaker full of water, and we're bubbling HCl gas into there. Now we want to be able to measure how much, what's the concentration of this H+. We've bubbled HCl in. But does it all go to HCl, H plus and chloride? We don't know. So what we do, we measure the pH. The pH will give us directly the concentration of H plus ions in solution. And that's because the pH is defined by this relationship here. So the pH is basically the negative log of the concentration of the H plus ions in solution. And if the H plus ions uh, increase, then you get uh, basically you'll get more and more uh, concentration of H plus in solution, and that means this species is more acidic. It's, it's got the ability to donate more protons into solution, and so we have a look at our scale here, and I've just draw in red pen. What does that mean? Well, if we can generate more H plus in solution. We're going from this uh, value of 1 here, 1 moles per decimeter cubed, um, which is basically 1 mole of H plus per litre. So this is a litre here. Okay, this is a litre. 1 litre, which is 1 decimeter cubed. Okay, and that's so that would mean there's 1 mole of H plus in that litre flask there for a very strong acid of pH of zero. Okay, so if we had a pH of five, that would mean we would have, I'll just get my brush here, 0 0.0000001 moles per decimeter cubed. Okay, so that's what that would mean. Now, we've got We've got um, numbers here of uh, one times ten to the minus five, which is which is this, and that's fine. But what what happens if we get um, pH of say three point six? What does that mean? So pH uh, equals three point six. Okay, that's a three. What what does that mean? Let's draw that a bit better. Well, that means the concentration of H plus. In our solution, per mo in moles per decimeter cubed, equal is is ten to the minus three point six moles per decimeter cubed. And if we wanted to work out what that was, we'd just do a um, want to work out backwards. Would we'd just do the reverse? If we if we knew how many moles we had, then we'd just be able to do the reverse on that. So looking at this scale now, if we plotted this out as a graph, for example, I'll just move this out of the way, you can see how complicated it gets straight away. 
So very basically now, I'll just draw this uh, graph without doing logarithmic scales. We basically have um, values that drop very quickly if we get into the pH range here. So if this is if this is where water comes about pH seven, say, then anything above here is insignificant in concentration. So then when you go down here to the stronger concentrations of H plus, so H plus is increasing here. Okay, H plus is increasing there, and that means it's becoming more acidic. I just put acid. And here the concentration is decreasing all the time, and that's becoming more basic. Okay, so that's basically, if you excuse the, the terminology there, it's basically um, a way of indicating the concentration of H plus in solution. And if I just get it just get rid of this diagram a second let's move it over here because I want to just bring back our scale one more time before we end the tutorial I just want to indicate that the 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 lower value of the concentration here in these in this region here so this lower value these lower values here um, are basically match um, a higher value of pH so that's a bit confusing. See, the, the pH is increasing, but our concentration of H plus is decreasing. And if we just take a different colour pen, just to re-illustrate this point, if you look at the higher values, sorry, that was meant to be a different colour. Just undo that and change that to blue. If you look at the higher values here, you'll see that as the the concentration increases the pH goes down so that's that's a, like a almost an indirect relationship but the concentration is increasing when the pH goes down so that's the basic introduction to the pH scale for acids and bases and I'll cover some more topics on how to calculate specific uh, pHs and things like that uh, as we go along with these type of tutorials so bye for now